that's it. We need to remove it. We need to remove the rigs. The rigs. On today's video, because if you're watching this video tomorrow, it's not gonna work. On today's video, I'm going to teach you how Marcus Sims removes the, the wire, the rigs that I use in order for me to make the action figures jump, running, walking, whatever the heck they need to do. So I'm gonna teach you how or I'm gonna or I'm going to show you how I do how how you remove the rigs and using after effects. So so let's go ahead and play the, the intro that cost me a lot of time to, to make and let's go ahead with the tutorial. <laughs> yeah boy some intros that's right okay uh so open up after effects and then drag and drop your footage in this case i made a very short animation of iron man taking off flying hovering so of course i use a rig okay so now we're going to look for the part of the video where the the special effect is going to take place right here so we can split it so we can fully focus on only this footage on this uh, part of the video where the special effect is going to take place and now we're going to look for the image the footage where we don't have the action figure with a rig because every time that you're gonna uh, use a rig to hold the figure in the air you need to have an empty picture without the figure so that's very important so we're going to drag it all the way at the beginning of the footage where the special effects going to take place now we can see here that it's shorter than the, the, the clip that we're going to edit so we're just going to right, uh, right click and time freeze frame and just like this we can extend the, the image the video okay now with the pen tool we're going to cut it out all the the wire and the the arm the rig that we don't need now another advice is that for you to avoid the rig to go in between the the, the figure the action figure for example here i need to go all the way around of the arm so we can remove the wire like this so if you can avoid this type of problems it's gonna make the editing process a lot well a little faster and easier now once we have cut all this footage we're going to go ahead in here in the, in the in the footage we're going to type n and here where it says add we're going to click subtract okay so that's how we're going to only removing the wire there you go the wire is gone da -da now what we need to do is to follow the movement of the rig we go ahead and change it back from subtract to none so we can see the rig and follow it much easier we're going to click on the keyframe and begin to follow track Sometimes the figure changes pose like this. Yeah, just like this. And we need to move around the mask so we can remove part of the wire. Sometimes as well, the figure doesn't change pose. So in there, you, you don't need to make a keyframe. Okay, once you're done, you can change from none to subtract to see the final product. By selecting the footage, you can click F on your keyboard to reveal the mask feather. With this setting, you can adjust it, adjust it to make the fade effects on the edges and make the difference of the background less noticeable.
You can also still fix the background in case you have a change of light or a flickers. You can fix it in the tab of effect, color correction, brightness and contrast. And adjust the settings to match the footage. Yeah guys, I have to make a script of the tutorial because my English sucked. <laughs> I thought I was I thought I could uh, improvise, but yeah. Sorry, I hope this tutorial can help you in the future for your future projects. So thank you guys for watching and see you very soon on the next video. Ciao.